before we start designing the banner that we're planning to design today, there are four rules that you need to keep in mind when you're designing, especially a banner. So the first rule that we're going to be looking at is look at your target audience or study the target audience that you're planning to design for. If you're planning to design for a younger audience, then you know the kind of language that you're going to be using. Knowing the target audience is going to help you design the correct size for the actual reader, design for the actual place that the banner is going to be displayed. So if you're designing for a banner that's going to be displaying on a highway and a banner that's going to be displaying on a restaurant, those would be two different kinds of audiences that are going to be seeing your banner. Number two, please minimize the use of color when you're designing a banner because it gets very confusing when there's a lot of colors going on on your banner. So try to keep it as mild and using contrasting colors so that it's not easy to decipher when your target audience is looking at your design. Number three, keep it simple, stupid. You know the KISS rule? Keep it simple with your design. Whether you're designing a banner or whether you're designing a post for social media, try to keep your designs as simple as possible. Because clutter, people don't like clutter. They will move past your banner and they will not read the information that you're trying to portray. The example that we have is the Coca-Cola banner and we got this from the community as an example. As you can see, the fonts that Coke has used is the same. It's not confusing, it's not a lot of words, and there's the Coke brand on there. So it's nice, easy, and it makes you want to drink a Coca-Cola. The last tip is avoid mixing fonts. If at all possible, keep to one font, because it makes it easy for whoever is just looking past your banner, and it is not cluttered, and it has a lot of fonts, and it's busy, and so try to keep it as simple, clear as possible. One of the fonts that is used mostly with banners is the sense. So if you, there's a list, you can Google different kinds of fonts based on whatever design that you're going to be doing. So if you're designing for an outdoor, Google outdoor fonts for a banner, or if you're designing for a restaurant, etc. Google and see which fonts you could use for the banner that you're going to be designing for and try to keep it as simple as possible. And with the last example I want to show you is this nice banner for a break inspection. Three words. The maximum rule that they say is try to have seven words on your banner because you just want the target audience to have a look at whatever information you're trying to portray. Finish and clap, no drama. If you want lots of information, write a book. So let's jump in and design a banner for me and let's see how it's going to turn out. You're going to open up a blank canvas on Canva. Then you're gonna to go to elements and search for gradient. With the graphics gradient, I'm trying to achieve a purple and pinkish kind of a, a vibe with the feel of the banner. So you're gonna search and look for the nice gradient you're going to size it to your canvas. Then you're going to add text. So you press T for text. And then you're going to use the Sanskrit. I liked the Open Sans bold. And then I used that. Nice and bold. I'm planning to put this on a highway. So I'm gonna make this bold so that when the small business owners drive by, can quickly read, dominate social media and grow your small business. Now they wanna dominate social media and I'm going to add social media's icons on here so that it catches the eye. So I'm gonna add TikTok, I'm gonna add Instagram and so on. One last thing, call to action. You're asking them to do something. They're reading the banner. Now them, what must they do with the information? So your call to action is very important. I want them to visit my website. I want them to go to the website and learn how to dominate social media, finish and clap, no drama. 
So the website is learnwithza.com. Same font as the font that you've used because remember, one font. You don't want to confuse your target audience. You want to be easy, simple. They look at, oh, there's social media. I do want to dominate social media. I am a small business owner. Where do I go? I go to that website. And it's done. It's finished and clear. Easy, simple, no so drama. Make sure that you present your work to your customer in the best possible way. Use a mock-up. So I've downloaded this mock-up at unblessed.com, but I'll, I'll leave it on the description below for you. You would open computer and open a PSD file. And then your mock-up would load like this. You're going to double click where it says double click here. And then you're going to hide the text. You drag your banner that you've designed. You size it. You then go file, save as smart object. And you would click once where it says mock-up PSD. And then your design is beautifully presented and the client can have a vision and can they can see how their banner is going to look like in real life. You can then now go file, export as, depending on what kind of file you would like to export as, PNG, even PDF, and then you're good to go. If you want to learn how to design quick videos that will help you do ads, you can click on the link on the screen. I'll see you on the next video.